Hello everyone, welcome to the video on antipsychotics or the drugs which are used to treat psychosis. They are also known as major tranquilizers. Tranquility means to calm down. So these agents will, will reduce the CNS excitement, so they are known as major tranquilizers. Whereas anxiolytics, the drugs which are used to treat anxiety are known as minor tranquilizers. They will also calm down the mind, but the agitation will be less in the in the mind. Anxiety is, is minor agitation, whereas psychosis is higher agitation of the brain. So antipsychotics are called major anti-tranquilizers, whereas anxiolytics are known as minor tranquilizers. Now antipsychotics are also known as neuroleptic drugs. Neuroleptics. Now understand this word. Neuro means brain or CNS, leptics means take control. These drugs when they are taken, they will take control of the brain, hence they are known as neuroleptics. Let's get into the topic. <clears throat> now, see uh, the major psychological disorder is known as schizophrenia. Now, understand this word, schism means split, phrenia means mental function. So there is a split in mental function, hence this disorder is known as schizophrenia. Now it has got two different kinds of symptoms are there, positive symptoms and negative symptoms. Now, basically schizophrenia is a kind of thought disorder. Now, one of the major characteristics is delusions. Delusion means false beliefs. So, uh, without having any, any truth in certain beliefs, people start believing in false beliefs. They are known as uh, delusions. Whereas, ha hallucination is false perceptions. False perception means they perceive, they can sense certain things like, see hallucinations can be classified as auditory. That means e even though nothing is there, they start hearing voices that is called as auditory hallucination. Similarly, visual hallucinations, they perceive this, they could see certain things and sensory hallucinations. They feel that so, some, some animal is coming towards them or some something is creeping on their body. That is called as a sensual hallucination. Now, paranoia, again, the mental disability. Now, all these are kind of positive symptoms, whereas it has got negative symptoms like a motivation, that means lack of motivation, social withdrawal, flat effect, which is also known as blunted effect. Blunted effect means they don't respond to anything. You crack a joke, they don't even laugh, they don't even respond. That's what is called as blunted effect. And poverty in speech, they could not speak properly. So, all these are characterized by schizophrenia. But what causes the schizophrenia? When you look into the pathophysiology, it is something called as dopamine hypothesis. Now, according to this hypothesis, the symptoms arise because of excessive dopaminergic activity in mesolimbic system. So, increased levels of dopamine at this mesolimbic system is, is what is causing schizophrenia. And uh, uh, the proofs for that is dopamine agonist can cause psychosis. If you remember, Parkinson's can be treated by levodopa. Levodopa gets into the brain and get converted to dopamine and the adverse effect of do this levodopa is kind of psychosis. Similarly, dopamine antagonists have antipsychotic actions. So, uh, based on this theory, dopamine antagonists, especially dopamine 2 receptor antagonists are used to treat psychosis. <coughs> now, antipsychotic drugs can be classified into two major categories, typical and atypical. Typical drugs, typically they block D2 receptors, whereas atypical, they act by other mechanisms also. They they have low affinity towards dopamine receptors, but they will be mostly acting on serotonin receptors. Now, the typical antipsychotics are classified as phenothiazines like chlorpromazine, thioridazine, trifluocarazine, flufenazine. The next class is thioxanthines like flupentixol, thiotixine, and then butyrophenones, haloperidol, dropiridol, panfluoridol. Miscellaneous drugs like Pimozide, Loxapine, Molendone are there. All these categories of drugs are basically they will block D2 receptors. So typically they will be, uh, their action is based on dopamine hypothesis, hence they are known as typical antipsychotics. Whereas atypical drugs like Clozapine, Olanzapine, Quetiapine, Reserpidone, all these drugs, especially Aripiprazole, all of them can be used to treat psychosis. Now see, nowadays, uh, atypical drugs are widely used because typical drugs has got major adverse effect known as extra pyramidal side effects. Now understand this one. In the brain we have certain tracts which, which appear in pyramidal shape. Hence they are known as pyramidal tracts. Now besides these pyramidal uh, tracts there are some other neurons which are known as extra pyramidal neurons. So when do dopamine antagonists are used, 
Dopamine is the major neurotransmitter at this extrapyramidal side. So these neurons are getting affected and that results in extrapyramidal side effects. The major problem with antipsychotic drugs are extrapyramidal side effects. Now see, these extrapyramidal symptoms are due to dopamine blockage in limbic system. Now understand the difference. See, <coughs> see the problem in uh, 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 in psychosis is see, excessive dopaminergic activity in mesolimbic system. Now the, the blockade of D2 receptors at this system will also cause extrapyramidal, uh, extrapyramidal uh, side effects. Now see these are majorly related to typical antipsychotic drugs. Now most of them are related to dopamine deficiency or dopamine blockade and it, it, it results in problems in muscle movements. Now the major one is acute muscular dystonia. So this one appears immediately after starting the uh, drugs and it is characterized by torticollis, locked jaw, oculogyric crisis. Oculogyric crisis means the eye rotations will be there. Locked jaw, the jaw muscles will be locked. And majorly it is because of spasm of facial muscles. And to treat this, central anticholinergic drugs will be useful. Now the next one is pseudo a kind of Parkinsonism. You know Parkinsonism is because of decreased levels of dopamine. Now in this antipsychotic drugs they, they are blocking dopamine neurotransmission so they may cause Parkinson's like disease. Now it takes at least one to four weeks to appear this uh, symptom. Again central anticholinergics like Benzhexol are used to treat this kind of adverse effects. Now the next one is ecthesia is nothing but restlessness or irresistible, irresistible desire to move about in the absence of anxiety. So this is the most common extrapyramidal symptom. Uh, cigarette smoking is, is associated with increased risk of ecthesia and propranonal a beta blocker can be used to treat this kind of adverse effect. Now the next two are malignant neuroleptic syndrome. This is the most dangerous one. See it causes increase in temperature, extreme generalized rigidity and autonomic instability and altered mental status. If untreated, it may cause death also. So to treat that, the drug of choice is dantrolin. Bromocryptin can also be used. See, bromocryptin is a dopamine agonist. See, these drugs are blocking dopamine, hence it is causing malignant neuroleptic syndrome. To treat that, bromocryptin can be used. The last one is tardive dyskinesia. It occurs late in the therapy and is characterized by involuntary movement, movements like chewing or puffing of cheeks. So again, to treat this, central anticholinergic drugs cannot be used. So they are contraindicated. So if you see, majority of the adverse effects are related to muscle problems. See, in Parkinson's also muscle movements uh, will be impaired. Akathisia, restlessness of the muscles. Tardive dyskinesia, the kinetic movements will be disrupted. So, so all these are major adverse effects of typical uh, antipsychotics. So see, the typical antipsychotic drugs like chlorpromazine, thioridazine, flu, flufenazine, haloperidol, they act primarily as a dopamine antagonist, blocking dopamine receptors. Side effects include pseudo Parkinsonism, akathisia, dystonic effects. <coughs> now atypical antipsychotics like clozapine, reserpidone, olanzapine act as antagonist at serotonin receptors and seem to have fewer adverse effects. Arbiprazole is a typical D2 partial agonist, hence atypical antipsychotics are preferred nowadays. Now this is a, uh, about antipsychotics or major tranquilizers. Now uh, minor tranquilizers are known as anxiolytics. Now the major classes are benzodiazepines like diazepam, chlorodiazepoxide, lorazepam, alprazolam and azapirones like buspirone, zepirone, ipsapirone. Sedative drugs like hydroxyzine can be used and beta blocker propranol is also used. See the major use of propranol is it will reduce heart rate. The major symptom of anxiety is increase in heart rate and when, you, when the heart rate is reduced, anxiety can be controlled. As I explained already, these are also known as minor tranquilizers. So this is about major and minor tranquilizers. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and share.